Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings, Sports TTM fans, and welcome to another exciting episode of Sports the Mill, your channel of undiluted sports content. Now, we are talking about football, and the Jamaican reggae boys are at it again. This time, they are playing the Nation League. Well, you already know that they played two matches before. They played against Honduras where they won that match and they played against 80 and that match was drawn. Those, those, both, both those games were played at the National Stadium in Jamaica. Now they have two more away games. They are going to play against I'm saying Green Deeds. Yes. And they are going to play against 80 again. Now, the squad, the 23-man squad has been given so let's just dive into the 23 months but there was an update yes there was an update and there uh, have been an inclusion in the 23 months but the original 23 months but and also some person has been left out due because of injury so the 23 months squad was named let's let's go into the 23 months squad that was named so this is the 23-man squad that was named Andre Blake, um, Kemar Foster, Jamal, Jamal Wade, Javier Brown, Trayvon Gray, Lucien Bernard, Dexter Labikisi, Daniel Lowe, Michael Hector, Greg Lane, Adrian Mariapa, Bobby Dacover Reed, Daniel Johnson, Joel Latibodier, Kevin Lambert, K. Roy Anderson, DeMarco Phillips. Mikel Antoni, Chamar Nicholson, Ian Bailey, Romari Williams, Ronaldo Cephas, and Damari Gray. This was the original 23-man um, squad that was called out by the JFF. But there have been some updates. So, if you look from the last team, um, Dujon Richard was in the last team now he's, he's not in this team the original but there's been an update so dujon rich richards has been called up now he's in the squad and he'll be playing against grenada and um 80. so dujon whisper has now been called to the squad and he's in grenada it's, it's in grenada, right right grenada he's in grenada for these two upcoming games. Now, Javain Brown is out because of injury. Adrian Mariapa is out because of personal reason. And Ronaldo Cephas is out due to flight challenges. We won't get into that. We'll just go as where the um, report said. All right, so Javain Brown is out. Agent Mariapa is out and Ronaldo Cephas is in. But there is only one. This is three players out and there is only one player in. So I don't know who are the other two replacements. But right now I'm just working with the little piece of information that I get that the John Whisper is in. And that's great news for the, the young, young talent. So there you have it. Uh, that is an upgrade of the update of the new new squad that will play against Grenada and 80. Now we're going into the potential 11. Yes, we're going into the potential 11 and also we're going to talk about the end-to-end -end, um, matches between Grenada and Jamaica. Yes, and right now it's looking good for Jamaica. When it's come on to the head-to-end, the -end, um, Jamaica has been playing 
Let me, uh, Jamaica has been playing Grenada for a good while now, and Jamaica has been dominating Grenada. So, on on paper, on paper, Jamaica should should be Grenada in this one because they have been dominating them for uh, a long, 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 long time. I'm going to show you what's been going on that uh, between Jamaica and um, Grenada. I'm going to bring up this on the screen right now. All right, here we go. So, I'm show you what's been happening between Jamaica and Grenada. And I'm trying to bring up this end to end, end, to end thing for you. Here we go. There we go, get the people. So Jamaica has been playing Grenada since 1997. Yes, Jamaica has been playing in Grenada since 1997. The first match they played Jamaica won. Um, one all, uh, the match draw one all. Second match they played Jamaica beat Grenada by 4-1. The third match Jamaica beat them 2-1. Uh, Jamaica in 2002 beat them one goal to nil. 2002 again, Jamaica beat them 4-1. 2008, Grenada won that one, two to two goals to one. In 2008, Jamaica played them and beat them 4-0. 2008, Jamaica beat them 2-0. Um, uh, Jamaica again beat them in 2010, 2-1. Uh, 2011, Jamaica beat them 4-0. And in 2008, Jamaica beat them um, five goals to one. So you see this Jamaican team dominating this Grenada team. Yeah, they've been dominating them really, really, really good. So we expect um, there to, um, to carry on this um, fine, magnificent form. We need these three points. Definitely um, in the National League, Jamaica and Jamaica is on top of the zone with four points, um, while AP is um, on four points also. So we need to dominate. We need to dominate Grenada, get all three points, and then also try to beat AT. And we see how AT really look. They're a really good side. And there is a um, that's a team to watch. And not only that, when we if we top the zone, when we go to the quarterfinal, yeah, when we go to the quarterfinal, then then we um have an easier team to play. So we need to top this this zone. Definitely need to top this zone. So let's get into the potential eleven. And as I said, there's a bit changes in the team, but that didn't change my mind of picking my potential eleven. All right. So there you have it. That's my potential eleven out of the twenty um twenty one because it's. Three man is missing. Yeah, and one man only. So 21. So there we have it. We have I have Andre Blake in goal. I have centre back uh, Damian Law alongside uh, Deshaun Bernard. Um, Deshaun Bernard and Damian Law. These players played before in the Gold Cup uh, against. Um, Trinidad and Tobago and Mexico. So the Trinidad and Tobago game when they played, they won that game. Against Mexico, they lost that game. But the pair has already played before. So I expect the coach to start Damian Low alongside with Dushane Bernard. Now, um, Dexter Labakise will go at my left back because Javier Brock is out so i will put dexter labakisi at my left back at my right back you see a new person there trayvon gray so a lot of people who might come and say oh see that trayvon gray is a left back why you put that because when i read his profile 
Trayvon Gray really play right back for his club. So this is why I think the coach, we have no right back. Our right back is Amari Bell, and Amari Bell is out uh, because of injury. So there I'm going to put um, um, Trayvon Gray. We know that Dexter Labakisi can play right back and also can play left back because in the Gold Cup he did. But in the Gold Cup he played left back. Yes, in the Gold Cup, um, Dexter Labakisi played go um left back um against Stain Kids and against the United States. So that's why I put him at the left back. Alright? I know we have a good left back by Greg Lee, but I think the coach is gonna go with Dexter Labakisi at the left back. And I put you um you already play for Jamaica, Trayvon Gray, I definitely going to start it this time around. Now I'm gonna move right into my midfield. Where I have Joel Lassibodier, Kevin Lambert, and Bobby De Cover Reed. The, the, um, these three play in the Gold Cup. So I think the coach um, already familiarized with these three players in midfield. Uh, everybody, what, what happened to DJ? DJ, 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 DJ. I don't think the coach is going to start. DJ, I think he's going to start. Bobby, um, Joel, and Kevin Lambert. Now we move up top and up top. Has not changed. Lamar Gray, Leon Bailey, Shamar Nicholson. Uh, Shamar Nicholson is really playing good for his club over there in, in, in France. Yeah, he's really playing good. Um, Leon Bailey just got off injury. He played 90 minutes. Um, and then Lamar Gray over Saudi Arabia, really playing good. In fact, only um, Jamaican right now playing really, really good football. So there you have it. That's my potential level for Grenada game. Andre Blake in goal, Damian Law, Lucien Bernard, Travain Gray, Dexter Labekiste, Joel Latibodier, Kevin Lambert, Bobby Dakeover Reed, Tapire Gray, Leon Bailey, and Shamar Nichols. Now that's my potential 11 to face Grenada. As I said before, we've been beating Grenada from 1997. There is only one time they, they beat us and we expect this rich form going forward and we definitely need three points. You understand? We need three points so I think the team should go on attacking and see if we can beat this Grenada team. We want at least four or five goals like what they do to St. Kitts and we do. Yes, we need at least four or five goals. Now, that's my potential 11. And I hope I'll see you all. I'll be doing a watch along. Yes, I'll be doing a watch along for, for this match. This match is going to play on October 12th. Yes, this match is going to play October 12th. So I hope I'll see you guys in the, in the, in the watch along. Right? I also want to... Um, yes, I also want to... Uh, I also have the, the, the Grenada team, but... I'll not be giving it the Grenada team, but definitely uh, Sporting Team will do a watch along for, for, for this match and also the upcoming match against AP. So, this has been another interesting episode of Sports Down the Middle. Always remember to like the video, leave a comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Always remember to tell a friend so that friend could tell another friend and that friend could tell another friend. Be blessed.